This is big toe joint arthritis on an x-ray. So normal toe right here, you can see the big toe bends up. Right here, you can see that it can get jammed at the joint. So it can look as bad as this. For some people, it does look like this. So this is what the bone spur can look like underneath here, for sure. This is a bunion. This is something completely different. See how there's no actual arthritis, but the actual bone is just buckling out to the side. So a bunion is more of an angular problem. So you can see right here, not really bad arthritis. It's just dislocating off to the side. This is a bunion too, dislocation of the bone. So there's a lot of mis truths on the internet right now saying salt is the cause of this this is not you can see it's a bone problem while eating salt is good and healthy for you and people will feel better it has nothing to do with arthritis in your joint obviously this is a given if anybody told you smoking or stopping smoking eating broccoli eating vegetables losing weight um, is good for you of course this is good for you but it has nothing to do with this medical condition. I could say that for any medical condition you have in life, and I hope that's very clear. I'm not saying that's not good for you because it's great for you. Do all these things, get as healthy as possible, and it will help every single medical condition you have. But will it help specifically a bone spur in your toe? It has probably nothing to do with it. So you can see it's a bone spur right here. So this type of stuff will not help arthritis. And this has been proven to not work. This type of stuff, while theoretically could help for a bunion, 0% chance it will help for this problem. What does help is gel pads. If you're older, if you're not looking at more extensive therapies, simply buying gel pads like this to cover your big toe will take care of this problem for you. Although it will do nothing about making the spur go away it can make it stop rubbing against shoes as well get good fitting shoes these can help a lot taping like this can help your big toe from bending up so if it's a jamming type pain this can help but it's not really practical to put this on every day orthotics this is a, the single biggest thing it does not have to be expensive you can get them for 20 to 30 dollars at our office depending on the insert but it changes the angulation and the jamming of your foot. We can realign your big toe into the proper position. For people who work at factories on their feet all day, I've had people come in and leave back to work feeling essentially 50 to 75% better almost overnight. That's what orthotics can do for you if it's the right orthotic. Turf toe plates, thick plates like this prevent your big toe from uh, bending up for some people depending on uh, your symptoms these work great these can almost make your pain go away completely although it doesn't fix the bump putting this into your shoe does an amazing job it prevents your big toe from bending up as you push off great shoes combined with an insert these two things like i said even if it doesn't get rid of the bump your pain is almost guaranteed to get better to a certain degree it may not fix it completely but it will get much better stretching exercise as you're wearing good shoes and good inserts you're going to realize how tight you are through your lower back your hamstrings your calves if you're having these types of problems it's pretty much associated that you're tight in certain areas otherwise you wouldn't be getting these jamming spurs in the first place so do all the right stuff get as healthy as possible i'm not saying not to do that do this stuff it's good for every health condition but to really get this bone spur better you might have to remove it you know all that stuff gets rid of your pain but at the end of the day you have a bone spur you can simply cut it out that looks like this in the OR, obviously not the same foot, but this is one with a spur. This is one with a spur removed. You can see that this toe will move a whole lot better. Implants, I wouldn't recommend them. They could leave you with an even bigger problem at the end of the day. Same thing, at fusion surgery, this is an A-plus process if you're having tremendous pain. But it's a little bit of a bigger surgery, but the benefits are you know it's going to work. You know you're not going to have a pain after this. So get rid of that spur if the spike is overwhelmingly large and it disappears from this to this. For about two to four weeks, depending on the person, you could be in a shoe like this and get as healthy as possible. Like I said, dropping 30 pounds, uh, getting uh, stronger, doing physical therapy, all that kind of stuff will make you feel 10 times better. But in a practical sense, what can you do almost immediately? Inserts pads 
great shoes, almost immediate results with the vast majority of your pain going away. If this helped you at all, please visit our website where you can get even more information. And if this video did help, uh, give it a like and a share, and we'll see you soon. This is MichiganFootDoctors.com.